Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. I love Ready Player One. It's a fascinating book about this virtual world called the Oasis, based here in Columbus, Ohio. If we're ever gonna get to a virtual world, we have to have ways to interact with that virtual world with our bodies. So this is the first episode of a series on technology like this here on Smarter Every Day. We're gonna go test drive a virtual haptic glove. It's not virtual, it's an actual haptic glove, but it's a way for you to use your physical body to interact with a virtual world. So let's go to California to a company called Haptics, because as an engineer, I have questions about how such a glove would work. There can only be a certain amount of resolution that should, yeah, questions. Let's go to California. You're Keenan, right? I'm Keenan. So what, what's going on here? What do we have? So we have our glove prototype, which is called Glens, and we have the HTC Vive and a computer to drive the experience. You're tracking where the glove is yep. in 360 degrees. Okay. I think you should just try it. Just try it? Yeah. Okay. It'll make so much more sense to you. Every All time. right, let's do it. Your hand in like this, keeping your fingers tight. And then once you kind of pass like this area, you'll spread your fingers out and into the finger socks. Okay. All right, you're not officially doing VR until you have a bucket on the head. So now that we got that on me, we are ready to go. Let's enter the simulation. So you hear things through the headphones? Yes, I hear... Music? I hear music that makes me want to take a nap. Okay. And I hear lightning. Rain and, yep, so let's go ahead and stick your head out. And, uh, this is the exact the moment I realized that they've done something amazing. I'm not a VR believer, but you can actually feel each individual in raindrop in your cool. hand. So it's not wet or anything like that, but it's perfectly timed, perfectly okay, positioned, right. and your brain accepts it. I can pick which finger I want it. I want to feel it on. Hold on, I'm trying to. I'm trying to feel individual raindrops now. Hold on. Can you really? Okay, so it's directional. So you're having to do, you're doing a coordinate transformation for the hand. Oh, look at you, you put a logo on the back of the hand. You guys are clever. <laughs> oh, I moved it. Okay, I feel like a kid. This is pretty cool. All right, so I can move, I have to. Just explore with anything. You feel free to touch anything that you can see right now. I can just touch all this stuff. Yep. So I can move this lighthouse. Oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not far enough in the 3D world. That's crazy. Oh, it's getting harder to, that's the force feedback you're talking about. It's pulling on the back of my finger. Yep. So you have to model the curvature of a finger. Can I actually... What's that noise I hear? Do I hear static? You're hearing the... Up until this point in the simulation, I'm just feeling things with my hand. But this glove has the something called force feedback. If hearing. you look on the back of the fingers, there's this tape that can hold your fingers in one position. And when I finally picked up a rock, this is the moment where everything clicked. So can I come over here and pick up a rock? <laughs> All right. All right, I'm cool. All right. I heard a tractor. Hey! All right. You don't have gravity in your simulation? Oh, that was... Okay, that was rad, dude. This is... All right. Who made this simulation? Ken and Jonathan made this? Yep. Okay, this is really cool. What did you make the simulation in? Unreal Engine 4. I, I can't, whoa, 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 whoa. Leave my sunflowers alone. Might need to re uh, No, we're good. Regrow them. Regrow the sunflowers? I need, a, I need a cloud or something. Can I shake some water out of it? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Ken and Jonathan made this simulation? It's, it's Keenan. Keenan, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. I got the headphones in. So good job, Keenan. 
with this. Oh, what's up? Hey, little guy. So if you reach your, if you reach your hand out, palm face up, close to the box, she'll actually jump into it. Can I stand up? Yeah. Okay. And so I've got a, I've got a cable here. I got to be careful about, right? Yeah, you're good. Okay, so I must admit, in Zelda, I'm used to killing the, every fox I see, so I'm going to be really nice to this fox. You can try to kill it. It's pretty hard to kill. <laughs> oh, you can feel it walking around. You're a genius. Did I point at you, Keenan? Roughly. <laughs> Keenan, you're a genius. I really want to use my other hand. You guys need... That is cool as mess, man. What's up? I don't, like, what do you, I mean, like, if a, if a puppy's sleeping on you, you're not allowed to move. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel about spiders? Spiders? Yeah. I'm cool with virtual spiders. Okay. Uh, spiders are not my favorite. But you are cool with virtual spiders. Yeah, have you had people freak out doing yeah. this? Yep, yes. Have you really? Yeah. One time we didn't ask, Big burly military guys like oh, I'm arachnophobic. The haptic feedback is incredible. So the Spider-Man blur the line between virtual and real. That's okay. So what's so cool about this is how many how many different sensors do you have in the palm? Because I'm I'm feeling every leg. 120. 120. They're in the total glove. So some of those are in the palm. Okay. So how on earth? How on earth are you controlling 120 different bladders inside my palm without just crazy? So these are not these are not bang bang actuators. These are these are what, what's the term? Uh, it's it's like they're infinitely variable actuators. They are pretty continuous. Yeah. Continuous. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank 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 you. We, so the nice thing about air, we can control the pressure of them. So. It's way cooler than I thought it would be, I'm going to be honest. I, uh, I thought it would be cool, but it's, it doesn't take long for your brain to just totally engage with it, does it? I'm going to set this spider. Oops, my bad spider. Since you're in here. So now that you have uh, become acquainted with our virtual farm, are you ready to defend it? Defend the virtual farm? Heck yeah, let's do this. All right. Smack. Oh, you actually have to get there. That's, this is like way cooler than I thought it would be. So they'll try to abduct anything they can get. There's, there's, there's no way this is going to translate to video. There's, and I'm I'm totally against VR. Just to be just to be clear, I, I don't think it's gonna catch on. But this has changed my mind. That's awesome. Seriously. So go ahead and reach out for that confetti. It should feel a little lighter than anything else you've touched so far. Yes, you're right. It is it is a continuous actuator. You've got it. Well, you've got to tell me how you do these bladders. I have to know that. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the experience with the glove. But I'll say this, in the next video, we're going to talk to every single engineer that was in the shop that day. We're gonna figure all this stuff out. So it's obvious there's motion tracking. It's obvious there's little bumps happening on your fingers. It's also obvious that something's making your fingers resist motion. So in the next video, we're gonna cover all this stuff. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I, I thought VR was stupid. And uh, this changes it for me because it's another layer on top of the other stuff going on in your brain. So I always thought moving around in a virtual world didn't make a lot of sense, but I think this is gonna, this is gonna matter. So I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like in the end, but this is a really good base concept and uh, I'm excited to see what they do to get this to market because all the variables are being taken into account at this point in time and I don't think they were in the past. So I'm excited about this anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, I would appreciate it if you would support Smarter Every Day by supporting the sponsor, which is Audible. You can do that by going to audible.com slash smarter and getting a 30-day free trial of Audible. It's fantastic. I recommend Ready Player One, which is obviously why I started thinking about haptics in general. So if you want to support Smarter Every Day, you can also 
to the number 500, 500 text the word SMARTER, and you'll get that 30-day free trial of Audible. That's going to help Smarter Every Day if you do that, and that's going to help me continue to fly places like this to make really cool videos like this. Okay, this is the haptic glove. I have another piece of man-machine interface technology that's in the Oasis and Ready Player One type stuff in an upcoming video. So feel free to subscribe to Smarter Every Day if you want to see that. I think you'll enjoy that as well. Anyway, I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye. So real quick, I've been talking with Leif, and, and you, you're in charge of this, this whole facility, right? I'm one of the people who, who helps make things happen, yeah. Okay, so he was telling me that people can actually come work here, because you need engineers? We do. Yeah, so uh, you're going to give me a link and I'll leave it below, uh -huh. and people can come, like basically, they can come work on this project if they want to. Yeah, aptex.com slash careers. Okay, and we're here in California, it's a, it's a rad place. This is real deal engineering, so anyway, I'll leave a link for you. Awesome. Pull that knob uh, out. Pull it out? Yep. Oh, yep, and then... Oh, God, I thought I broke no, it no, for a good. second. <laughs> I thought I broke it. <laughs>